Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my project uh, AWS cloud based dynamic blood bank management system right so it's a AWS cloud based project and uh, it's a dynamic website where I have used PHP and MySQL for developing this project right so the version for the PHP I'm using is PHP version 7 and currently my uh, server php version is 7.4 and mysql version i am using the mysql 5.6 right so these are the this is the database and the uh, server side scripting for front end development i am using the html css and javascript some of the jquery library also have used for developing this project right like you are uh, seeing that there is a slider running on the home page so this slider i have developed using the jquery right also this is a bootstrap mobile responsive theme bootstrap means if you uh, uh, means uh, if you shrink the page and if you open this web applications in uh, mobile app you can see this menu is uh, uh, according to the mobile right the screen will not be distorted because it's a bootstrap theme right also let me close this one right this is a bootstrap theme right so i have used the uh, bootstrap css for developing this and it's a mobile responsive thing it's a not fully mobile responsive thing but yeah it's a mobile responsive and we have used the bootstrap templates for developing this project right so these all technology stacks i have developed this for uh, I have used for developing this project and as I told you earlier this is a AWS cloud based dynamic blood bank management system right and uh, the technology I have used PHP, MySQL, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery uh, for developing this project right? it's a major project where there are two types of roles available the first one is the admin and second one is the donor right so let me go through the website once uh, once and after that i am going to show you that what type of technology stacks i have used for developing this what type of servers or uh, technology stacks i am going i have used for developing this project right so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page this is about the project right and it's a totally static page right because there is nothing dynamic on it but yeah i have used the mysql database for creating dynamic content this is a login you can see there are two types of login that admin login and the username is admin and the password is test and this uh, is totally dynamic page and the script is checking the credentials in the database if you log in the account then you will get the login and you can see this is the administration option from where admin can perform these operations admin can add donor admin can add campaign admin can add blood right admin can add the blood stocks right even admin can see the donor reports right and this is a totally dynamic you can see this is a search ad after that if you want to search anyone then this is a totally dynamic tables and after that you can set the paginations here you can uh, you can uh, the page, page number will be increased if the page number goes above the 10 right this is the uh, and uh, donor report this is the blood report right so you can see uh, this is total seven entries and this is smart table right and again that this is a campaign report all of the campaigns which you have uploaded if you want to edit it then you can edit it also right this is a stock report all of the blood stock reports right this is a appointment report all of the appointments right even you can edit the appointments and you can uh, update the status of the appointment right this is a change password from where you can miss admin can update his account password right and this op, uh, above menu is totally uh, session driven right if you log out from the system then the above menu will not be displayed right you can see the above menu option is not displaying here right now i am going to log in as uh, sorry i am going to campaign so this is a campaign and it is a totally dynamic page and data is coming from the mysql database and that mysql database is hosted on the aws platform right and this is the registration and uh, this is a uh, donor registration from where donor can register and the details will be saved into the database right this is a static contact us page you can see this is a static contact us page right now if i log in as a donor then the user id is donor and test right so once you log in said i think uh, 
uh, there is some issue right uh, let me check that what is the user id and password i think uh, it will be yeah i oh, let me check again that what is the user id and password of the system right and the uh, project is blood bank system and the type is the user uh, no that this one right and the user also there is uh, only admin and the donor details is the um, oh it's the email id and password so i am logging with uh, the email id and the password is test so once you log in inside the system yeah it's login right and uh, you can see this is the my appointment from where book appointment for uh, taking the blood right and the my appointments all of the appointments uh, which uh, user can book right blood entry form right so this all fun and the change password from here uh, user donor can change his account password and the logout right so once you log out then that um, menu option will be changed one more thing i want to show you according to the login right the above administration menu will be displayed because you can see there is no more administration option because the donor has a login right so we have managed is true session right so let me show you so this is a uh, sim very uh, less number of functionalities for the donor but if i log in with uh, admin then you will get a lot of functionalities there right so you can see there is the administration and the reports all of the functionalities are there right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project miss blood bank management system and this is the web part what we have developed using the html css javascript php and mysql now i am going to explain you that what the technology of the aws we have used for developing this project for hosting this project right i am going to explain you this right so as i told you earlier this is a aws cloud based project means uh, it's a uh, we have hosted this project on the aws cloud platform and what the services i have used i have used the ec2 instance if you log in on the aws then AWS provides a lot of uh, uh, AWS services and you can use those services for developing some good interesting projects right so I have used the EC2 instance for hosting this project right so this is a totally dynamic website and EC2 instance is uh, is a services provided by AWS where you can install your own operating system where you can install any of the services you want to use like php mysql apache uh, java python django go node angular anything what you want to use you can install it it's a live web server where you can uh, use and you can host right uh, host your applications develop in any type of server side scripting language right so you can deploy any type of dynamic website develop on any of the platform over the aws on the ec2 instance right elastic computing too right so you can see this is the uh, the project the ec2 instance for open the ec2 instance you need to search the ec2 instance here right and once you click on then you can see there is one instance running here and once you click on this then it will provide you all of the details and this is my public ip right if you want to open this public ip just open it right let me show you it will open my blood bank management system this is a real time public ip from where you can access this ip from anywhere any part of the world using your mobile using your mobile tabs any uh, from any of the devices you can open this url uh, in this ip right and this ip is associated with this uh, domain right and if you open the same domain then that project will open right you can see the same project of is uh, same project is running on the domain as well as the ip because that domain name is associated with that ip right 
okay so this is the ip right and if this is the private ip this is ip so and also i'm using the t2 micro instance right for developing this project right uh, for deploying this project so once you uh, register on the aws then aws uh, charge you only two rupees or two dollars right and it will be refunded after some time and after that you can use ec2 t2 uh, t2 micro instance totally free of cost uh, till one year right aws provide you provides you one year free tier for using t2 micro instance right and you can create your t2 micro instance and you can deploy your project on the t2 micro instance any type of dynamic website developed on php go python node java any of the programming language you can deploy it here and you can install any of the services according to your choice on the aws ec2 instance right it's a live server right live server like your local computer right okay so let me show you so uh, once you create the instance then after that you will get uh, uh, your uh, key for login right so let me show you that what how i am going to log in right so this is my key right and once i log inside the system right you can see this is the login the login method is ssh minus i and the key name and the username and the ip address right so it will show you all of the information right what is the system information is here right you can see memory usage 56 percent swap is 20 uses this is the uh hard disk use right so i have uh, taken uh 8 gb of memory right watched lot last login right so each and every information will be provided here so what are the things i have installed right so for running dynamic php application on the live aws cloud ec2 instance you need to install the apache the first one is apache so i have used the apache server the lamp stack apache 2 digest version right uh, i think so you can see here the apache version oh, oh okay yes so this is the version is the 2.4 right so i have used the apache uh, apache 2.4 version right and php i can show you that what version i am using so i am using the php version 7.4.3 and the mysql version you can see mysql version i am using the sorry mysql version 8 right currently i am using the mysql version 8 on this server right so this is the so what we have used apache lamp stack linux this is the ubuntu server the second one i am using the apache the third one we use i am using the mysql right and the version i have already displayed and show you right so this is the apache version 2 2.4 this is the php version 7.4.3 and the mysql version is 8.0 right if i log in in the mysql right so it will show you i think there is some issue so let me log in with different user right so it's uh blood and blood right so show databases so you can see this is the real uh, live server right i am working on the live server on the live aws ec2 instance you can see this is the database what we have created on the server right if i use it right then uh, so tables you can see uh, i think that there is a spelling mistake right so tables then you can see all of the tables are here right you can you can do anything what you want to do on this server right so this all things i have used for developing this project right so i have not used the rds but in the next project i will show you that how we can deploy the mysql database on the rds right in the current project i have used the ec2 instance for deploying my project with all the server is here all the server side scripting languages are here and the mysql database is here right so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project right and uh, if you need uh, more uh, details about the services then you can put it in the comment if you need more functionalities in this project you can put it into the comment 
okay you can contact me even if you want different project title which you need to develop on the aws ec2 instance then aws dynamic website even any of the using any of the aws services just uh, you can contact me i will help you to develop the project right and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos of the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much